Hello and welcome to day 320 of Dungeon 23, the series where we make room of a mega dungeon every day for a year. Just south of the Strogi room, we have a Barogast, which was introduced in, I think it was Glory of Giants is the name of the book, the one that adds all the different giant monsters. Basically Treasury of Dragons, but for the giants. And this is a huge, basically a ghast that was originally a hill giant. And these guys are pretty tough. They have 138 HP, 12 AC, so they're going to get hit pretty often. But they have a reaction where if damage is done to them, the player has to make a con save or else take poison damage. If they enter within its a certain radius of it, then it has that stench ability that other gas have where they're poisoned. Uh, but with this guy, if you fail the check, then you're not only just poisoned, but as long as you're poisoned, you can no longer regain hit points. So that's pretty intense. And it just does a lot of damage, has a lot of HP, but it has very poor charisma, wisdom, and intelligence, and also not the best decks. So your best bet is to use things like turn undead, AoE spells that require decks, things that require mental saves, that kind of stuff. Things with radiant damage. And just all that stuff to really like hammer in those poor saves. And again, you have this big hallway where the thing can't fit through because you could only squeeze into a size smaller than yours by one. So this guy's huge. So he could fit into a large corridor. Like, uh, let's just do a little drawing here. Freehand. If it was this big, he could squeeze into it, but not this big, which is how big these guys are. Although it's diagonal, so it's kind of a little bit bigger, but you get the picture. It's not going to be able to squeeze through them. And yeah, just a very tough chunk of HP to fight. And I think earlier in the dungeon, we basically had a giant zombie that we had to basically make up from scratch. Having these guys is a lot more useful, because I don't think the book was even out yet, which is really weird to think about that this project started before certain books were in existence. Because I want to say, like, very shortly after this started is when the whole D&D &D Next and total changing of format happened. I think that was all after this, so it's kind of weird how I still kept my old format, yet still incorporated some new ideas because I'm lazy. So it's just really interesting to think about. Anyway, that's basically just a really intense fight. If you want to see more, then subscribe. If you like the video like it. If you have suggestions for future rooms, then comment them down below. That engagement really helps. And yeah, thanks for watching and or listening. I apologize for the poor quality. It's not going to get any better.